One year ago, I visited the Strid for the first time. I had 500 subscribers, one camera, one sonar ball, and a huge desire to know more about the river. As many of you know, we measured a depth of up to 65 meters deep. We threw a camera down to its depths to see what we could see, and then we all discussed in the comments what we had discovered. This year, I decided to come back with a new version of the sonar device and put last year's results to the test. Deeper, the company behind the sonar ball, has been kind enough to send their latest sonar device. Now, of course, we are going to be using it for something very different, but what I failed to explain last year is that this is actually a fish finder. This is the Deeper Pro Plus 2, which has a cast and depth range of 100 meters, as well as a nine hour battery life, which is more than we need today. It is used to find fish, which you will see examples of in this video. I'm not partnered or getting paid by Deeper in any way to use this device. It simply just sent me to use it if I wanted to. So I thought, why not put last year's results to the test? Thank you very much, Deeper, for sending me this device. A link will be in the description below if you would like to know more about the device. Okay, so let's get into it. Last year, there were a lot of concerns that the device wasn't pointing downwards and could have been facing downstream rather than looking at the floor. You should be able to see in these clips that I keep the ball pointing down at all times. I also try to keep it on the surface of the water with only the bottom half of the device submerged. This is how it would sit if you casted it out on a fishing line. I started off by testing the waters in the calmer area towards the bottom end of the strid. Last year, this area measured around three to six meters deep, and with no surprise, it looks to be testing the same today. Although this section wasn't the part people were skeptical about, and these readings are probably quite accurate. I decided to move on to the most controversial section from last year that measured between 60 to 65 meters deep. The river was low enough for me to stand in the same place that I did last year, but I got the camera in a better position for you this time so you can see the position of the sonar device too. Apart from a few errors that the device alerts me to, we seem to be seeing similar results to last year with 56 meters being the deepest reading I get. This is at the very turbulent section and I can't get any closer to the waterfall area to put the ball in there. I got a lot of questions last year about if there were any fish in the strid. I can confirm that I've seen lots of fish jumping out of the water here. The sonar device also says it is detecting lots of fish. I would imagine if it's reading the fish correctly, then there would be a lot of them coming through this very narrow section. The device also shows the depth that the fish are at, which seems to be around five to eight meters deep. Now, I didn't want to make this video any longer than it needed to be, so this one's just for you Strid fans that were waiting for more. It's not looking likely that I can do a dive event without going into too much detail. There were lots of barriers that I just haven't been able to break down on my own. The money and time investment could be done, but wouldn't even guarantee a dive date. So personally, I've had to put that on hold. Although anyone that does wish to pursue it, then feel free to contact me and I can give you the channels you would need to contact to arrange it. Lots of money and time is required though. Oh, and the divers need to have an unbelievable amount of certification and previous history, otherwise they're not even willing to entertain the idea. I spoke to a member of staff on the way out and they knew who I was. If you're watching Mr. Security Guard, it was nice to meet you. The estate are aware of my videos and all definitely have their own opinions on what I get up to at the Strid. Either way, I think they all do a brilliant job because the place is absolutely immaculate and looks great. If only the Strid wasn't on private land so we could do as we please, but they're only trying to keep us all safe, so for that I applaud them. I have no idea what the future of the Strid looks like when it comes to content, but I really do hope a big organisation can put time and investment into checking it out. I've had a lot of fun here and I hope you've all enjoyed the videos I put out on the subject. There will be a new video from me next week, so feel free to stop by and leave a comment. I'm going back out on a big adventure in the Lake District again and would love to see you there. Signing out from the Strid. Peace.